Hey everybody, welcome back to Coach's Corner. I'm staff writer Ben Barkley, sitting here with girls varsity basketball coach, Coach Sweeney, and boys varsity basketball coach, Coach Gibbons. Coaches, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Doing well, doing well. That's good. So first off, talk to me about the overall season so far. Um, so far, the girls' season's going pretty well. Uh, we uh, just picked up a win last night, which makes us five and four, um, and we're three and zero in the region. And Coach Gibbons, same question. Uh, yeah, we dropped a tough one last night. We're two and one in the region. Uh, I think we're like three and seven overall. I had a pretty tough schedule to start the season off weird, but you know it's just a work in progress right now. So going into that last game against Jonesboro, Sweeney, starting with you. That was a big, tough game, overtime. You, but you, your girls closed out the victory. Talk to me about that game. Um, it was very tough. Uh, we'd go in stretches where we'd get a six to eight point lead, and then they'd fight back. Um, and then we'd go out and get a six to eight point lead, and then they'd come back again. So it was just it was back and forth, back and forth. And um, luckily, my girls um, pulled it out. So they uh, wanted it more. And Coach Gibbons, you had a very tough game. Neck and neck, y'all lost by three. Talk to me about that game a little bit. Well, we had the lead the majority of the game. Probably the only time we relinquished the lead was the last minute of the game. And so just, you know, Jonesboro's been good for years. Uh, you know, there's a lot of tradition there. And so uh, I thought we kind of battled a little bit of just them supposedly being one of the better teams uh, versus us knowing that we're a better team. And so I thought we kind of faltered down the stretch kind of based on that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's where you are this time of the year. So what players have caught your eye this season as talented to the team? Uh, of course, Alzan. Um, she's been playing more aggressive. Uh, she had 29 last night. She had 25 against Whitewater. Um, and then Ryan Keen's also stepped up and started playing a little bit um, big, big on the defensive end. Um, and then my freshman, Jacqueline Hester, um, has started averaging you know, 10 points a game. And, and she probably averages about nine rebounds a game. So. Um, we got it. We got a couple people that have stepped up this season. So. And Coach Gibbons, same question. Yeah. Well, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Nate Allison and Jermaine Mann have, have kind of led the way for us scoring and rebounding wise. But uh, I think we've got a nice uh, shot in the arm with Wes Grant. I thought he's done a really, really good job for us. Uh, started some games and then come off the bench a little bit. But I think his role will continue to expand and, uh, as we kind of move forward in the season. So I'm kind of proud of the work he's done up to this point. So. After these Jonesboro games, girls are now undefeated in the region. Boys are two and one. Looking ahead to after the break, what region opponent has your eye as the toughest must-win game? Uh, you know, Fayette County is always going to be a tough game for us, uh, but I think this year the team to beat in the, on the girls' side is Griffin. So um, Fayette County and Griffin, and also. You know, Whitewater gave us our run for our money, and so did Jonesboro last night. So I don't think it's going to be an easy, easy um, rest of the season for us. And get in the same question. Yeah, everybody was on the schedule. I mean, every night out that you play a region game, everybody's capable of beating everybody. The teams are so familiar with each other. So, you know, each and every night out, you can get beat if you don't come on your A game. And so, you know, every, every opponent, I don't know who the next region opponent is off the top of my head, but whoever it will be tough. So you know. <laughs> So now, heading into the break, you guys are going to a lot of tournaments. I know you have one in Florida, and I think you have one after that. Not going to the Florida one anymore. Not going to the Florida one. But you still have a couple, a tournament. So what do you hope to gain from those tournaments? Uh, learning experience for uh, girls that might not get playing time in you know, region games, trying to get them um, up to par and you know on the back end if we need them, that they're ready for it. And given the same thing? Yeah. I we have about a month off, and so uh, with that month off, I think we can really kind of pull this team together and, and see what you can be. Uh, with the first sample of you know ten or twelve games, you get these tournaments in, and they don't count for region record, and so you get opportunity to try a couple different things scheme wise, try a couple different things lineup wise, and kind of see where you are and have the best product uh, on the floor when you're ready to come on the floor in January. And uh, who do you think has stepped up leadership wise on the team this year? Um. Ryan has uh, she she her attitude and her vocal. Um, Alyssa Angelo, uh, Alisan steps up on the floor night in night in and night out. So um, I've got a few that have stepped up this year. And given the same thing, uh, I, I get a lot of leadership. Zach's done a good job. Zach Shanigli has done a good job of, of leading our team coming to the season. Uh, you know, we get some good senior leadership with uh, you know I think Nate is not a outward spoken guy, but I think through his actions he's done a lot of things with our team as far as lifting our level of intensity. Uh, you know, especially in game, and so I think they're providing a good amount of leadership for our team. 
Alrighty, well thank you coaches for joining me today and thank you for watching this edition of Coach's Corner.